What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Like the title says, I'm gonna be setting up my new pouch. Ooh. The smell of brand new leather. I also ordered these guys which is the straps for suspenders to use as handles for this thing because someone on my other occidental video mentioned to use um, these since it's like the same color and I think that's pretty cool look at that same before we move on to this pouch though, just wanted to show you guys the color. This pouch is like kind of faded and beat already, but you can tell this is the real occidental color compared to my other handles that I put on. And for those of you guys who are curious about the handles, it has been holding up all right. It's still going. There's some that came off though, but that's why I put like more than what we actually need. This side is, oh this side is still going good. Not, nothing came off on this side. But that's probably because my right side is heavier than the left side since I have all my hand tools on this side. And pretty much my tape measure, miscellaneous meter. So let me show you guys the difference. So this is pretty much the difference between the two pouches. The one I currently have and use is the one made for commercial, I guess. Because when you look online, it says this is a commercial bag. And this one doesn't really specify like residential or commercial or whatever, but you guys can significantly see that it's like more smaller and compact and I like how this one is like less bulky than this one and that's what I originally am trying to go for like a smaller pouch that's less bulky and kind of hopefully lighter on the hips because bro this thing is like super heavy And this one is a leather and nylon combination. And I feel like this side too is just straight up bulky. Like it's more wider, more like deeper I guess. Whereas this one is like kind of more slimmer. And this way too. But this one has like one big main pocket and two small pockets and tape measure pocket this one I don't know if this is considered a tape measure pocket but I'm probably gonna put my tape here and then one main pocket and another like a smaller secondary pocket so real quick I know that you guys have been asking me what I carry in my pouch and this is like real time i just got home from work and this is pretty much how my pouch usually looks like some trash in here we were doing a bathroom renovation earlier this is pretty much what i keep inside so i have my i don't know we call this a butcher flathead screwdriver like can it has the metal tip to bang on it or like lock rings or like pry stuff I got my Klein magnetic 11 in 1 level of course so we're not eyeballing things my ticker non-contact voltage detector 
Klein. Oops. Oh yeah, I also like to keep magnets on my pouch for like these specific reasons in case I gotta stick something on there like real quick instead of throwing inside here and trying to dig for it. Oh yeah, anyways, my side cutters, Klein. Strippers. I like these strippers because it has like the linesman tip on it. So that's why I don't really carry a linesman anymore because we got it right here. But it's still good to have though. Precision screwdriver, the Klein 4 in 1. This, the reamer. I don't usually really keep it inside my pouch all the time, but I was doing um, EMT work this past weekend, so I had it in there and I forgot to take it out. Got my insulated. Along with the square bit and the skinnier Phillip and flathead bit. 1 8 and 3 16 pilot bit. Channels. Oh, yeah, I also keep this inside because it's kind of handy. Magnet. A file for like filing the edges of Unistrut or pipe or whatever. Whole bunch of rubbish. Because you know, we always clean up after ourselves. 1032 tap. Uh, Phillips, like a longer Phillips bit. Just in case this one is too long. And in these pockets, we have a unit bit, a quarter. This is a 516s that is supposed to go here. 516s, Tapcon hex head, 38. And that's pretty much it for whatever it was on this right bag. I also had this hammer holder, but I think I might like to keep this hammer holder on there, or if not, maybe even buy the clip on one because we're not really using hammers most of the time. So, probably when I'm not using a hammer, I'll just unclip it if I had the clip, clip on one. And yeah. I just feel this one is like kind of too bulky though but sometimes this thing comes in handy because I would put like my snips in here if we we're doing like um, notching ceiling grids and stuff for having our pipe come down out of the drop ceiling got my tape measure gloves meter I used to kind of always keep this inside but it takes up space and I was using it earlier today so I didn't really put it away voltage I mean on um, plug tester if you guys know why they're bent like this then you guys know why if not then no worry the real voltage tester so this is my good working one. This is the one I actually use to check voltage on plugs or um, check if the plug is good. But this one, secret plug. If you like twist, make your plug straight. Not the kind, just put the plug and leave them. Rubbish. Also like to keep this in there. You can put your bits. for tight areas wire knots the rest of it um, 7 16 half inch and 9 16 more wire knots and screws sometimes these screws just add up and that's kind of a bad habit I mean it's good to have but for me I feel like it's kind of a bad habit because like sometimes it would just be overloaded with screws 
and it just becomes too heavy my nut blaster no judge six inch extension a deep 916 socket marker for when you like draw bottle on people's hard hats pencil and yeah that's pretty much it oh and my tape look how much weight that took off oh i still have those in there though damn this thing gotta break in I don't know, I feel like full leather bags, when they're broken in, I feel like they're like super light though. So hopefully that's the case with these. But before I load these bags up with tools, I'm gonna do the, what you call, straps first. So the kit came with four straps, but we're only using two. And on the two that I'm gonna be using, I drilled a second hole so I could put two rivets on each side. Then you're gonna line up where you want your stuff to be. So I'm gonna put mine's like right here. Then I'm gonna use my marker and mark where to make a hole. You can see my two marks right here and then pretty much transfer your marks right to the other side I don't even know how to do this let's get technical you're pretty much like four eighths from the side From this lip, the first one is three and two eighths, and the next one is three and six eighths. And I'm gonna be using my 316 drill bit. It comes with the, uh, yeah, you guys remember this rivet kit? It comes with this thingy to punch a hole in the leather. But this thing is like kind of really worn out already so I'm not going to bother to use this anymore. So I said I'm going to use my drill bit. Do this at your own wrist. Make sure you don't drill your hand. Use your side cutter and put it behind where the drill is gonna shoot into the void so we got our four holes and now we're gonna put our rivets on So the first bag is done. Oh, that looks pretty legit, huh? Little bit crooked, but it's okay. And now, we're gonna do the second one. 
So pretty much whatever I did to that, uh, we gotta do to this. And I'm gonna put the camera on pause for a little bit because your boy's running out of memory space. So I'll get back to you guys in a bit. So I'm done. Look, look. This, the using the actual um, occidental suspender strap thingy looks super legit compared to this oh that makes this one look pretty ghetto but this did work wonders though it did well the only thing is that i didn't really pay too much attention to like the inside so this one kind of looks better and matches more but I don't know, this one is like super white. But whatever. And you know how it came with four? The other two are more of like the burgundy color too. Like this one. But yeah. Toopy. And for this pouch setup, I'm not gonna be transferring the sheepskin because I feel like the sheepskin kind of makes it a little bulkier and hopefully with this thing being lighter I won't need to like have the sheepskin on it I can already tell like the difference I, mean, I know that one has wire nuts in them and this one is like full on empty drill I usually just hang my drill behind tape measure I got my 11 in 1 going right here Leather is like super stiff, so kind of have to like stretch it out a little bit. Butcher screwdriver, which is going in this other hole. Same thing, just gotta force some. Ticker going in here. Side cutter is going here, because that's where I had it on my other pouch. Precision screwdriver in this small area right here let me get a closer look for you guys I don't even know if I should still hold my insulated stuff in my pouch I mean it's good to have just in case you come across a situation where you gotta work on some live stuff but these guys right here strippers uh, I'll probably just put them right here. Channel locks. Put them in this small space right here. If it's perfect. I know some people they hang their channel locks like this. Or like this or whatever. But we'll see. I was so used to having them over here, that's why. So I'm used to grabbing it like this rather than like grabbing it like this and then going like this. So I'll probably just put that here for now and see how that works out. This is like almost everything that I carry on this side or besides the level. I don't even know where I'm gonna put the level. I think I'm gonna just shove it like right here. And just pair it up with. Oh, yeah, that works. I guess. Grab the level. Oh, the only thing is, um, when I take out the level, 
uh, my strippers open up kind of all right there so when I try to put it back in I use two hands maybe I'll do it this way so strippers here on the side side cutters inside with the level tape measure already in there this ratchet thingy I'm gonna just throw it in the main pouch my tap I'm gonna probably just throw it in there or maybe even put it in here on this compartment on my other pouch I never really used it so I guess that's what this is for now file I'll probably just stick it into like one of these right there. Pilot bits. I'll throw in with the tap. And one of the big things that I wish that this pouch had is these bit holders right here. It'd be good to have like some here. So I could put my miscellaneous nut drivers. But I guess I'll just have to throw them back on this thing. Cause it was like super convenient to reach. Like, I'll just grab my gun, pick up what bit I would like to use and put them on. But now I guess I'll have to like pull out this whole thing and then look for the bit. Nut drivers. In a bit, I guess I'll just throw it in here. I'd rather have it in a pouch than not to have it. Nut blaster. My same common area. Stick it in right there. Testers. Plug twister. Secret. Extension. Marker. And pencil. Right here, the usual place, and then I guess whenever I'm doing commercial work, piping, I can put my reamer back here. But when I'm not using it, I'll just take it off because this is like kind of some weight. So I fat in a bit, I can throw it back here too. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's kind of a little messy down here, but it's like manageable. I also have my knife. My knife, um, we'll probably just put over here. My magnet. I'm taking my magnet. Here. Other magnet. This is what I use the magnet for. Just hook it on there. Grab the size I need. Boom. Switch back. Boom. When I'm done, like completely done, then I'll put it back. And I guess for this pocket right here, I'll put like my wire nuts. So what I'm thinking about is like when I'm trimming out, I'll have wire nuts in here or whatever I need. Or when I'm roughing in, then probably staples. Or when I'm doing piping, probably have the fittings in this bag and straps or tap cons or screws, whatever. And this bag right here, this area. Uh, yeah another thing I also wish this pouch had was the holster or that this compartment thingy for the square 
Because sometimes I use, I actually use my square. But I guess if I ever need it, I'll just put it in here, this big pocket right here. And if I ever need to get something behind, I guess I'll do it like that. Grab what I need, put it back. Because there was just like one time where I left it there for the longest and I would just had a square handy and ready but yeah, I guess this doesn't need to be there <laughs> so this is pretty much all of my tools pack and what I would usually do and like bending down like this thing plugs and stuff is like cherry Get the wire, boom, boom, boom. So, it's good. And I think also the sheepskin kind of played a, a part in like kind of feeling like I'm limited to crouching down. Cause you know, it's kind of like in the way of my fat. But it does feel way better lighter and more efficient and no this pouch isn't for sale i'm planning to just still keep this thing like use it for bigger jobs like commercial jobs maybe where i'm gonna need all of my tools or more to fit more stuff than this but i feel like this is this will be pretty sufficient so here's one last look with the new pouch setup officially filled. Looking official. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe. Peace.